a problem on how to determine the stability of the system using the Ruth Herbert's criteria. So let's see the problem. So we are given the characteristic equation for a system and we have to determine the stability using the Ruth Herbert's criteria. So let's try to solve this problem. First we will see that whether any coefficient is missing from this characteristic equation. We have S5, S4, S3, S2, S1, S0, all the coefficients are present. So, no coefficient is missing or absent from this characteristic equation. Now, if you see this characteristic equation, you will see that there all the coefficients, they are not having the same sign. These are positive and these are negative so if you analyze this characteristic equation from this equation you can say that the system is unstable because all the coefficients are not positive or not negative but we have to prove this using the root stability criteria we have got our answer that it is an unstable system but we have to prove it using the root stability criteria so let us first find out the root array by using the coefficients of this characteristic equation. So root array is given by the highest power of s in this characteristic equation is s to the power 5. So we will start from this coefficient s5 then s4 s3, s2, s1 and s to the power 0. Okay. So the coefficient of s5 is what? 1. Then we will write the coefficients of all the odd terms that is for s cube, for s. Okay. So coefficient of s cube is 24. Then we have minus 25. Now the coefficient of the even terms that is s4, s square and s0 is 248 and here minus 50. Okay. Now obtain this s cube row. It will be obtained by multiplying this 2 into 24 then minus 1 into 48 divided by 2. So 2 into 24 that is 48 minus 1 into 48 that is 48 and divided by 2. So its coefficient will be 0 here. Now we have 2 into 25 that is minus 50 and minus 1 into minus 50 it will be let's write here 2 into minus 25 then minus minus 50 into 1 divided by 2. So we will have here minus 50 plus 50 upon 2. So it will be equals to 0. Now next we have 0. So if you see this row, this S cube row, it is 0. All its elements are 0. So when you obtain this type of condition, what you have to do? You have to form the auxiliary or the subsidiary equation using the elements of the row which is above this row and then differentiate that auxiliary equation and then proceed further. So let us first form the auxiliary equation using the coefficient of this row. Okay, so this row is having the coefficient as As is the auxiliary equation. Then we have 2s to the power 4 
because it is s to the power 4 rho so we will write 2 s to the power 4 s square and s to the power 0 here so 2 s 4 plus 48 s square minus 50 s to the power 0 okay so this will be 2 s 4 plus 48 s square minus 50 because s to the power 0 is 1 so this is our auxiliary equation now we have to differentiate this equation with respect to s so differentiating as with respect to s we will get the differentiation will be 2s4 will be 2 into 4 s cube so 2 into 4 will be 8 and here we will have s cube then plus this 48 into 2 and s to the power 2 minus 1 that is 1 so it will be 48 into 2 will be 96 and s to the power 1 that is s differentiation of minus 50 will be 1 okay so here we have got the differentiation we will equate this equation to 0 this is we have obtained now replacing the coefficients uh, which we have obtained the row as 0 0 and 0 replace that with the coefficients of this s cube and s so the root array which we have obtained was s to the power 5 4 3 2 1 and 0 s5 elements were 1 24 minus 25 then we were having 2 48 48 and it is minus 50 s cube it was 0 0 and 0 so now it will be coefficient of s cube will be 8 coefficient of here will be 96 and here we will have 0 okay now if we solve it we will get s square as 8 into 48 minus 2 into 96 divided by 8 okay so we will get here s square as 24 then this coefficient will be 8 into minus 50 minus 2 into 0 so it will be 0 divided by 8 so it will be minus 50 this will be 0 now next coefficient will be 24 into 96 minus 8 into minus 50 upon 24 so it will be 14.08 next we have 24 into 0 minus 8 into 0 so it will be 0 here also 0 next we will have 14.08 into minus 50 and uh, minus 24 into 0 divided by 14.08. So it will be again minus 50 here. 0 and 0. So we have completed our proof that day. We have obtained first here we have obtained 0, 0, 0. So we obtained the uh, auxiliary equation, differentiated it and these coefficients we have used and then formed the proof that day. Now, if we analyze this first column of the root array, we have to see that what will be the number of sign changes. Here it is positive, 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 positive and negative. So, here the sign change is one only from positive to negative. So, one sign change, it means one root is lying on the right hand side of the S plane. So we are having one sign change means one root is lying on the right hand side of the S plane. That means on this side, right hand side. This is imaginary axis, this is real axis. 
and this is our s plane so if the root lie on the right hand side or it has a positive real part then the system is unstable so we have obtained the right answer that the system is unstable but we have proved this using the root hervich criteria from the equation also we can say that the system is stable or unstable but there is a set procedure to prove it using the root hervich criteria okay so i think this problem is clear to you thank you